Our final speaker this afternoon, we will be welcoming to the stage, is Alex Hauser. Alex is a junior at Iowa State University, majoring in construction engineering, and he currently serves as the Iowa State chapter president. We've probably all experienced it, a strange look or a question from a family member or friend when we've told them that we've decided to join a fraternity. For Alex, joining DU is the best decision that he's made as an undergraduate. He is passionate about sharing his experience with others and explaining why fraternity membership is still relevant. And now he's going to share that passion with us. Join me in welcoming Alex Hauser for his Ignite entitled, Why Join DU? We live in a world that's changing and evolving every single day. From a fraternity perspective, <clears throat> from a fraternity perspective, we are walking a tightrope of society, one misstep from falling off the line. It's unfortunate that the nation only really seems to see the negative aspects of fraternity life. The media pretty much puts us on display as animal houses and never really shows the good things that we do. So it's understandable why the majority of the population wouldn't see all the awesome things that we do to develop our members and impact our communities. Now that in mind, why would a young man want to join a fraternity? But more importantly, why would a parent be comfortable with their son joining such an organization? Now coming into my freshman year of college, I didn't really have any friends. I knew maybe three or four people from my high school, but I lived off campus in an apartment, so I didn't really see them, and I couldn't make friends through the dorms. And that being said, I was searching for something that I could be a part of, some place that I could make an impact. Now, I remember walking into my first class, Econ 101, a lecture about 500,000 people, which was intimidating enough as it was. And I sat down, and I was one of the last people in the lecture hall and sat down, who sat down right next to me, but this guy that looked like he was about 35 years old. And now, he's one of my best friends. So Chuck Kaiser is a very intense person, to say the least. And he kicks things off right away with, I'm Chuck Kaiser, and then asks me a million questions. Are you Greek? Why aren't you Greek? Do you know anything about being Greek? Are your parents Greek? Are your uncles Greek? Whatever. All this stuff. And so I'm sitting there, and I don't even know how to respond, but no, no, one, but no, no, all this. And then he finally gets to it. He starts telling me about all the things that Delta Upsilon does because that's the fraternity he's in. And it really kind of excited me and intrigued me because this is something completely new. So thankfully he invited me over to the DU house that night, or that afternoon rather. And after I went to my next couple classes, I stopped by and I still remember to this day walking up that hill, up the stairs and across the threshold and into the house. And that whole time, there was just this feeling that built inside me. This feeling that I can, and I'm getting shivers right now, I can only describe to you as this feeling that I needed to be part of this organization. Now I'd like you all to think back. What was the reason that you joined DU or other fraternities for Noah Borton? What was that magical moment, that deciding factor that really pushed you to join? I believe every young man should be able to experience that same thing. Now, fraternities offer a space where young men can grow into the next leaders, the engineers, the businessmen, you name it, of the world. And it's no secret that we offer so many different programs and you have different tools to help you get there. As soon as you sign on to a fraternity, you, <clears throat> as soon as you sign on to a fraternity, you automatically have a network of older members that have been through at least one year of school and possibly job experience. Beyond that, you have a whole new member class that, assuming they're in the same major as you, will be taking most of the same classes, and they can help you succeed academically. Now, academic and professional success and networking is a huge part of why fraternities are so good, but they also offer so many leadership roles. I personally have served as the philanthropy chair, the speaker chair, the assistant to the vice president of finance, the general homecoming co-chair, and last one, I promise, I currently serve as the president of Delta Upsilon at Iowa State. Now, being president has been something that was really, really interesting for me because I had no previous executive experience and neither did anybody on my board. And the one thing that I really learned from all of that is that life is all about tough decisions and perseverance. 
how are you going to respond when something that com comes on your plate that you've never experienced before? And that was a big thing that my board and I had to face in coming into this semester. And I remember one specific instance in February where unfortunately one of my close friends and a member of our fraternity had some incidents that didn't line up with our values. And un unfortunately from a friendship perspective and being a brother at that point, you have to tell that person that, hey, this is just not acceptable and you have to be done. And I think that's the hardest thing that I've ever had to do, is tell one of my good friends that he can no longer be my brother. But that also came and gave me a lot of growth and made me realize that when you're in a position of something like that, whether it's a fraternity, a club, or in the professional world, sometimes you have to put personal relationships aside and truly do what's best for the organization, no matter what that means for everybody else. And that's something that I've taken with me. But that also brought along another thing that really kind of impacted me. I had to communicate all the decision making and what was going on because it was a pretty impactful issue to my chapter advisor who was out of town, to our Greek affairs, as well as to our international so that we could stay in the loop. But that's something that I really learned from. You see, in the professional world, communication is huge. If you aren't telling your bosses what you're doing and what's getting done or asking them what's going on, then that disconnect just kind of creates something that is bad. Now, all that being said, what makes a fraternity different from a club or something else on, our, on a university campus? Because if you think about it, leadership roles, professional networking and knowledge, and leadership is all stuff that clubs can provide. Um, so why is a fraternity so special? Now I'd like you to again think back to when you were an, an undergrad, or if you are an undergrad, your first year of your undergrad, when you finally decided to join a fraternity. Who were your biggest supporters? Who were your role models, your cheerleaders, your best friends? Now, Every year, Iowa State, since we've rechartered, Iowa State has an alumni gathering which happened this past weekend. We call it Escape to 117 Ash Avenue. And I had the, or er, I was able to attend this year, which was very fortunate for me. And I met a lot of interesting alumni and connected with some people that I never thought I would connect with. Now, hearing all these stories of different things that went on when they were undergrads and their experiences after that, and for some of them, the rechartering of Iowa State. I heard a lot of stories. But one person's story in particular, a man named Tom, an alumni from the mid-70s, really hit hard for me. You see, he told me that he hadn't been back to the DU house in 45 years. And when he got the call to come over and be a part of this uh, gathering this year, he said that he was intimidated. He told me that he thought that there was going to be some stigma around him, like, why haven't you been back? Where have you been? Why have you been so disconnected? But he thankfully made the decision to come. And he told me that he, he got off Highway 30 and into Ames and made his way back to the DU Chapter House, but immediately felt back at home. And it was only confirmed when he walked into the Chapter House and started reconnecting with his old brothers, and it was like nothing had ever happened. Time hadn't passed, and they picked up right where they left off. And now, that really gave me a real life example of something that I'd only been told before then. Brotherhood is truly forever. It doesn't matter if you leave for 45 years and come back, your brothers will always be there for you. And that's what's so special about a fraternity. That is why every young man should join a fraternity. He followed up that story with describing to me why he thought a fraternity was so special, which motivated me for this speech. And he told me that, Alex, when you live in a dorm your freshman year, you might meet a few friends and you might live with them and keep in touch after you graduate. Cool. But what's there to come back to? You see, a fraternity, once you graduate, you still have an undergraduate chapter that's there, reaping the benefits of what you did and blazing the trail for the next. 
And that's so special. You can't find that in other organizations. And if you can come back as an alumnus and see that, that is magical. Now, coming into my freshman year, I really didn't know where my life was going to take me. If you would have told me I would be standing up here in front of you right now, I would have told you you're nuts. <laughs> Joining Delta Upsilon really aided me in gaining confidence and becoming somebody that could actually do things like leadership roles. And it actually gave me my best friends today that I know I'll have for the rest of my life. And Delta Upsilon is so special because we take the lessons that we've learned and we put those to use through our undergraduate years all the way through our alumni years. And we make the world a better place one man and one day at a time. Thank you.